I'm looking forward to leave, leaving. Um, I've been on three different floors and every floor was very professional and I made a lot of friends. Uh, I don't know all their names, but I would like to know them because they were part of me uh, getting to where I am today. So, you know, I hate to leave, but I gotta go. You know, my family wants to see me sooner or later, so. But yeah, it's, it's been quite a role. You know, it's amazing to, to be popular for, for living. You know, it kind of gives me chills that I'm popular because I'm alive. But, uh, you know, uh, I hope that maybe I can inspire people to understand how serious this virus is. It took me by storm. Listen to the health professionals. What's going on in society right now is killing people. And a lot of people think they, it won't get them. But if it gets you, you're going to feel some very painful things happening to your body, your lungs, your kidneys. And, and I was blessed that I, I wasn't conscious to feel and struggle in the breathing because they put me in a coma. But some people are. And, uh, you know, and one of the things that really kind of hit me hard was when I was conscious, knowing my mother of 80 years is, is knowing that I'm in a coma and how hard that was for me. It took me almost just a week ago, I, just, I started talking to my family because it was so emotional, you know. You know I, in, in my coma, I felt like I felt like I was gonna lose my mind. I was fighting so hard to keep my sanity, but my faith in God is the reason why I'm still here. So I say to people, put on the mask. Going to work is not as important as living. It's better to be broke and alive than to have money and dying.